Today we will learn about the median, a measure of central tendency. In the previous video, we saw that we get the mean by dividing the sum of observation by number of observation. Like the mean, the median is also a measure of central tendency. After arranging the data in ascending order or descending order, the middle observation is the median of these data. If we are given n observations, then we arrange them in ascending or descending order. If n is an odd number, then in these observations, n plus 1 divided by 2 will give you the position of the median in the observations. But if n is an even number, then median is the mean of n divided by 2 and n divided by 2 plus 1 th observation. For example, suppose one day's rent of living in different hotels in a city is in rupees like this. Let's arrange them in ascending order. Here, the number of observations is 9, which is an odd number. So, the median of these data arranged in ascending order will be 9 plus 1 divided by 2 that is fifth observation that is 500 suppose a new hotel started in the same city whose one day stay is 800 rupees now we can arrange all numbers in ascending order in this way in this case the number of observations will be 10 which is an even number in this case we get mean of 10 divided by 2 that is fifth and 10 divided by 2 plus 1, that is 6th observation, which will be 525. The median is a middle number, so it divides the data into two equal parts. One half consists of observations whose values are equal to or less than the median and other half consists of observations whose values are equal to or greater than the median. Now, let's understand some characteristics of the median. Look at these two groups of data. The mean of the first group will be 16, which is a best representative value. Except for one observation in the second group, all observations are similar to the observations of the first group, but that one observation is much larger than the other observations. In this case, the mean would be 27, which cannot be called a good representative value. But here, the median of the data in both groups is 16, since the values of most observations in each group are around 16, we can say that in both cases, 16 is the best representative value. In this way, when the peak values in the data are too large, or too small, the median is a better choice than the mean. At the same time, by looking at the two groups, we also find that if there is a change in the peak value, it does not affect the median. This means that median is not more sensitive to peak values. The median does not take into account the exact values of the data. In this way, it does not use the complete information given in the data. The mean helps in statistics calculation, but the median does not help in this. For this reason, the use of median is limited. So, today we learned about median, a measure of central tendency. In the next video, we will learn about another measure of central tendency, that is mood.